Hey guys and gals, this is Dump Trailer Part 2, and I'm the Homestead Prepper. And if you saw Part 1, you uh, saw that scrap metal, that rusty, nasty scrap metal that I had uh, left over, where I cut the bed off of this thing. And uh, me and my dad took that up to a scrap metal yard, and they gave us, for I think it was 620 pounds of rusty, uh, crappy metal. Um, for 620 pounds, they gave us $67. So uh, you can look at it that you know you know I paid $100 for this thing, and if we subtract the $67, that uh, plus a little sweat leaves us a net of $33 I have invested in this trailer. Now I took uh, that $67 and I went up to Tampa Bay Steel, and I bought uh, a couple items. Uh, one of them was this. Um, this right here, this is, um, you can see it, it's 3 by 3 by 3 16 angle iron. And I made the frame out of that. And you see that bar sticking out right there? That's one inch cold rolled steel. That was uh, $3 a foot. And that runs through the scissor. I still have to weld it and, you know, attach it to that frame. Um, I bought this sheet of 14 gauge 4x8 mild steel that was about $63 I bought some uh, of this 2x2 two two angle iron I think 20 feet was like $23 uh, I'll give you all a run in total when I get it all done with it and uh, let me uh, let me show you a couple other things Okay, you can see a little more of uh, how I've built the frame here. And like I said, it's just made out of angle iron. And um, I wanted to tell you all that this, this right here, these pieces on top are 2x2 two two square tubing. And let me pull this off here. You can see that. I, I don't have this part on here. You'll understand that why in just a minute. But... Um, this uh, square tubing was given to me by one of my brother-in-laws. He said he had uh, two pieces that I could have if I wanted to come and pick them up. He, uh, he didn't need them anymore. So uh, I went over there and they were both about 12 feet long. So I cut them up into uh, three sections of four feet. So I got six sections. And you saw the, uh, the uh, 14 gauge metal. I got up there and it, it, it seems to do really well. It seems to be holding it. and. Uh, this is my hydraulic pump. We cleaned it up and what's well, a FEMA pump? And no, it's not uh, government FEMA. But um, you can look and see the scissor right here. This is the scissor. And this is um, a piece of one inch cold rolled steel. And I made a couple holes through this right here. Now th this is not the finished product. I need to weld some uh, washers on that and that way it can roll in there and I'll probably put a cotter key in there or something probably do it on both sides and I might put a small piece of angle on here I think I heard uh, BC truck mention that once before doing it on an axle so I'll probably fortify that a little bit but what you see is what you get and I wanted to also talk about the hydraulics and the old hose was uh, broken and all crappy and I went up to Amazon hose and I had a new hose and I routed it so that when this thing picks up it doesn't break it off or pull it loose and it goes under goes over here to the hydraulic pump and the hydraulic pump had water in it so I uh, uh, put some uh, new I put some uh, diesel in there and cleaned it out and then I got some uh, hydraulic oil which this is the same stuff that I use on my tractor I only use the best stuff on my uh, 44 year old tractor cleaned it out and put new stuff in there and uh, this this hose and this fitting and this fitting and this is just, uh, I guess, a vent hose, if you will. 
I guess if you were to hook pressure to it, it would pull the ram in. But I'm using the uh, weight of the trailer to uh, lower the dump part of it. But uh, at the Amazon Hose Company, it was $75 for that stuff. So that's that's the price of uh, doing business nowadays for uh, hydraulics. Um, okay, guys, you probably noticed that the, uh, the trailer kind of has the wet look to it. Uh, we cleaned it and I wanted to show you one of my little tricks right here for rust and uh, this makes the rust soft and pliable and uh, now of course I'm kidding um, I didn't have a paintbrush uh, and I used this to put this stuff on here it works pretty good and what I'm using is some stuff that was recommended to us by our mentor and friend the Texas Prepper 2 and uh, I used this on a project a while back and it seems to work really really good um, I uh, went on Amazon and they wanted like I think $28 a gallon for this stuff um, I went to my local paint store and they had it up on the shelf $52 and 50 cents a gallon and I told the guy I said boy I need some of that for a project but that's that's kind of pricey he said well I tell you what I'll uh, I'll give you the uh, a company discount I said okay cool he said I'll sell you a gallon for $28 so he started to ring me up and I said well I'll tell you what I got a lot of projects going on let me just go ahead and get two gallons he said well if you buy two gallons I'll sell them both to you for $41 so uh, that's what I did guys that that was a, uh, a smoking deal okay what I'm gonna do now guys is uh, I'm gonna of course let this stuff dry and when it dries we're gonna paint it but um, I'm going to get the measurements from here to here to there. And I'm going to come over here and I move this metal over here. And I'm going to drill out a couple holes. And where the holes are, I'm going to weld that to that 2x2 two two square tubing. And I'll get that done. And I'll, uh, I'll bring on part three as soon as it becomes available. Homestead Prepper out.